Iowa is one of those states that, unless you live there, you probably don't think much about it except maybe during presidential elections. People from the East and West Coast think of that general region as flyover country, and many assume that Iowans must all be poor country bumpkins, but that's not all that accurate. Sure, there are some places in the state where it's hard to get ahead in life and farming is king, but other areas have plenty of jobs in some pretty specialized industries and people can make a decent living. So in this video, we're taking a look at the 10 counties in Iowa that have the highest median household incomes. Number 10, Plymouth County. Plymouth County sits in the western part of the state with 25,698 residents. The median household income is $67,297, and only 7.2% of the residents live below the poverty line. This is probably partially due to a higher than average rate of high school graduates. In Plymouth County, it's 93.1%, compared to 92.1% for the state and 88% for the nation. The most common job title reported to the census is management. The largest industry for the county is manufacturing, with many of the county residents working for companies such as Jolly Time Popcorn, Tyson, and Palmer Candy Company, which produces the cheapest tasting chocolate imaginable. You'll find it on shelves at Easter time. The single largest employer in Plymouth County is Wells Enterprises, which produces Blue Bunny ice cream and other frozen treats. They say that they employ one in four of the county's residents. The second and third largest industries are healthcare and retail. In addition, they have 7.4 times the number of people working in agriculture, forestry, fishing, and hunting, as expected for a county this size. However, the highest paying jobs are in utilities. With higher incomes, more expensive homes can be purchased, so the median home value is about $16,000 higher than the state's average at $163,500. Number 9. Polk County Polk County is the most populous county in the state, with 492,401 residents, thanks to the presence of the largest city, Des Moines. The most common jobs listed on the census fall into the category of office and administrative support occupations. The largest industry in the county is finance and insurance, which accounts for 2.96 times the usual number of people in that field, and is also listed as the second highest paying industry after mining, quarrying, and oil and gas extraction. This is due to several prominent companies in the area, including Wells Fargo, Principal Insurance, Walmart, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa, and EMC Insurance. The second largest industry is healthcare, and the third largest is retail. Those with a bachelor's degree account for 36.7% of the population, which is higher than the state and national averages, so the income level for this county is also above average at $67,637, and the poverty rate is slightly better than the state and national rates at 10.1%. Average home values in this area are below the national average, but well above the state average at $179,900, and the home ownership rate is 67%. Number 8. Benton County this county in East Central Iowa, with 25,575 residents, has a median household income of $67,729 and a poverty rate of 7.8%. Their high school graduation rate is better than average at 94.1%. Their home ownership rate is also above average at 82.8%, with the median home value at $157,200. As for the workforce, Benton County has 2.21 times the average number of people working in farming, fishing, and forestry occupations. However, manufacturing is the largest industry, accounting for 17.6% of the workforce, followed by healthcare at 13.8% and retail at 10.3%. Many people in Benton County commute to Cedar Rapids for work, where the largest employers are Collins Aerospace, Pearson Educational Measurement, Nordstrom Direct, and Transamerica. The most common job title is Office and Administrative Support. Number 7. Cedar County Cedar County was the birthplace of President Herbert Hoover. His childhood home is now a National Historic Site. He and his wife are buried there, and the Herbert Hoover Presidential Library and Museum is located in this area, in the small town of West Branch. The county only has a population of 18,505. Compared to other counties, Cedar County has an unusually high number of people working in farming, fishing, and forestry occupations, probably due to being a rural area, as well as construction and extraction occupations, and installation, maintenance, and repair occupations. However, the three largest industries are manufacturing, healthcare, and retail. 12.6% of respondents listed their occupation as an office and administrative support position. The median household income is $67,795, and the poverty rate is only 7.8%. With a higher than average income, more people are able to buy a home, so the home ownership rate is 81.2%, and the median home value is $156,000. Number 6. Sioux County Sioux County in western Iowa has 35,872 residents. 
18,700 of them are in the workforce, with 12% of them stating that their jobs are in management, making it the most common job in the county. The three largest industries are manufacturing, education, and healthcare, with some of the largest employers being Dort College, Dethmer's Manufacturing Company, and Heg Health Center. They also have 5.55 times the usual number of people listing their occupation as farming, fishing, or forestry. The median household income for Sioux County is almost $10,000 higher than the Iowa median at $69,844, and their poverty rate is only 7%. 80.3% of the homes are occupied by the homeowner, and the median home value is $167,000. $500. Number 5. Brimmer County. Brimmer County has 24,988 residents, with 96.4% of the adults having earned a high school diploma and 30.7% have a bachelor's degree, which is higher than the rate for the state of Iowa. That helps bring up the median household income, which is $70,395, and the poverty rate is 6.7%. The home ownership rate is 82.7%, and the average home value is $165,700. The three largest industries are manufacturing, healthcare, and retail. Some of the largest employers in the county include CUNA Mutual Insurance Group, Nestle, Waverly Health Center, and Wartburg College. The highest paying jobs in Bremer County are law enforcement, medical provider, and legal occupations. They also have a higher than average number of architects. Number four, Mills County. Only 14,484 people call Mills County home. Retail is the second largest industry in Mills County, so one of the most common job titles listed by census respondents was sales. The largest industry is healthcare, and the third largest is manufacturing. They also have a higher than average number of people working in community and social service occupations. The median household income is $72,079, and 8.8% .8 live below the poverty line. The average home value is $168,900, and 77.9% of the homes are occupied by the homeowner. Number three, Warren County. The three largest industries in Warren County are healthcare, manufacturing, and retail. 20 of the 30 largest employers are in production, including Advix Manufacturing, Honeywell Integrated, and Mitsubishi Electric, just to name a few. The largest employer is Procter & Gamble. They employ 3,047 of the county's 52,403 residents. The highest paying industries are utilities, public administration, and transportation and warehousing. The median household income is $77,048 and the poverty rate is 7.3%. The high school graduation rate is well above average at 95.4%, so that probably has a hand in the higher than average income and low poverty rate. The home ownership rate is 79% and the average home value is $187,200. Number 2. Grundy County Grundy County has 12,329 residents with 13.7% of the county's workers saying that they are in management positions. The three largest industries are healthcare, manufacturing, and retail, but they also have construction accounting for 9.6%. The highest paying positions are in architecture, computer engineering, science, and mathematical occupations. The median household income is $77,350. 5.6% of the county's residents live below the poverty line, but sadly the group most affected by it is women over the age of 75. The average home value is $199,300, and the home ownership rate is 71.3%. Number 1. Dallas County Dallas County has a population of 99,678. 15% of the county's workforce listed their job title as management, with another 11.1% listing business and finance positions, which is twice as many as expected. Finance and insurance is the largest industry for the county, with 18.8% of the workforce. That's because some of the largest employers for this county are Wells Fargo, Salmon's Financial Group, American Equity Investment Life Insurance Company, and Farmers Mutual Hail Insurance. The second largest industry, with 14.8% of the workforce, is healthcare, and the third largest, at 9.4%, is retail. The poverty rate for Dallas County is only 4.3%, and the median household income is way above average at $88,479. Homes are also more expensive in this area, with the average home value at $248,100 and the home ownership rate is 73.7%. If you live in one of these counties, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel to learn more about the Midwest. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I remain stuck in the Kernfield.